We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. Good morning friends today we are going to solve the problem of hexagonal play okay okay let's see the question here in the question given that hexagonal plate of 30 mm side okay so we require to draw the hexagon of 30 mm side is resting on hp okay if the plane is resting on hp then i write down here my first stage is hp second theta and third Five. So the plane is resting on HP with one of its side. Okay, so the hexagonal plate is resting on side. Okay, so si we draw the side on left hand side. The side on which it rests making an angle of 50 degree with VP. Okay, here angle 50 degree with VP means this angle is phi. So phi is equal to 50 degree. Okay, and it is made by the resting side. The side on which hexagonal plate is resting okay draw the projection its surface makes an angle of 45 to hp okay 45 degree to hp means theta is equal to 45 degree okay so i get all my data now let's start to solving this problem okay so first i draw one reference line at here now plane is resting on hp okay so we draw the hexagonal on hp and it is resting on side so we draw the side on left hand side okay so here i draw the one side of hexagon okay hexagon of 30 m side so i draw one line of 30 m side okay i explain the method of drawing hexagon in last lecture okay use any of that method to draw the hexagon okay so here i draw the top view for the hexagon okay i give the name a b c d e n f okay so now drawing the front view i just simply take the projection this projection for a and b point this projection for c and f point this projection for d and E point okay so here I get my front view at here okay I give the name a this b this c this d this e this and f this okay here a this point f this point and e this point are hidden point okay so I indicate this point in bracket okay so our first stage is complete now let's come to the second stage in second stage given that surface makes an angle of 45 degree with hp okay here the plane makes an angle of 45 degree with hp so we draw this angle on vertical plane okay so here we first mark the point a dash b dash at here a dash b dash here okay we draw this line at angle of 45 degree okay so i draw one line at here okay at angle of 45 degree okay now i measure this distance and draw one r okay so here i get 
my point d dash e dash okay so this line give me the front view of the second step okay now for getting point c dash and f dash i take this this much distance now take d dash as a center and draw one arc at here so here i get my point c dash and f dash okay so in this way i complete my front view okay now drawing the top view i just simply take the projection okay first i take the projection for point a okay similarly i take the projection from here okay so intersection of these two lines give me my point a okay now for point b i take the projection from here okay this line and projection from here okay so intersection of this line give me the point b okay now for point c i take the projection from here and projection from here so intersection of this two line give me the point c okay now for point d i take the projection from here and from here so here i get my point d okay for point e i take the projection from here and from here this point so here i give my point e okay now for point f i take the projection from here and projection from here so intersection of this two line give me the point f okay so after connecting this point i get my top view for the second stage okay so in this way i complete the second stage of this problem okay let's draw the third stage in third stage given that the side on which plane is resting is makes an angle of 50 degree with vertical plane okay this angle made with vertical plane so we represent this one horizontal one okay okay but before drawing the third stage we first check that the length of the side is constant in both stage okay here line ab makes an angle 50 degree okay so we check that the length of the side ab is constant in both stage or not okay here ab is 30m here ab is 30m so its length is constant here length of ab is constant in both stage so we not required to find the apparent angle okay we directly draw the line at 50 degree okay so first i draw one line at angle of 50 degree at here okay this end this angle is 50 degree okay phi is equal to 50 degree okay here i require to draw the same hexagon at here okay i use the rectangle method to, to draw this hexagon at here okay for that first i draw one rectangle okay in which this hexagon is fitted okay so first i draw one rectangle i give the name one two three four okay so first i draw this rectangle at here okay for that i measure this distance one two two and draw one arc at here okay so here i get my two point of the rectangle okay this rectangle one point and two point at here one point and two point here. okay now getting the three point i draw one line perpendicular line from two point similarly from one point okay now i measure this distance two two three and draw one arc from here and from here okay so here i get my point three and here i get my point four okay so after joining this
I get my rectangle at here. Okay, so first I draw this rectangle head here. Now I draw the hexagon. Okay, so drawing this first, I measure this distance 2 to B and draw one arc from here and one arc from point 1. Okay, I measure this distance 2 to B. Okay, and draw arc from point 2 and point 1. Okay, because these both distances are same. Okay, so I get my point A at here and B at here. Okay, I give the name A, B. Okay, now getting point C, I take the distance 3 to C at here. And from 3, I draw one arc at here and one arc at here. Okay, so here I get my point C and here I get my point F. Okay. Now, for getting point D and E, I measure this distance, 3 to D, and from 3, I draw one arc at here, and from 4 point, I draw another arc at here, okay, so here, I get my point D, and at here, I get my point E, okay, so after connecting this point, I get my hexagon at here, okay, here side, AB is inclined at 50 degrees, so I take AB side at here. Okay, so side AB makes an angle 50 degree with the vertical plane. Okay, so in this way I complete my top view for the third stage. Okay, now drawing the front view, I just simply take the projection from here. Okay, I first start with the point A. Okay, I take the projection for point A. So for that I draw one line from here and a point is at here so this line intersected here okay so here i get my point a this okay now for point b i draw another projection line from here okay and b point another line at here okay so here i get my point b this now for point c I take the projection from here and from here from here this point So here I get my point C this. Now for D point I take the projection from here. And from here. So at here I get my point D this. Okay. Now for point E I take the projection from here. And projection from here so here I get my point E this okay now for point F this I take the projection from here and from here so here I get my point F this okay now I just simply connect all the six points A this B this B this C this C this D this D this E this E this F this and F this A this okay so I get my front view for the third stage okay so in this way I draw all three stages of this problem okay and solve this problem okay so before ending I check that the side on which the plane is resting is on reference line or not okay we always check that the side or point on which the plane is resting is always on reference line okay here plane is resting on AB side so here A dash B Similarly, at here A dash B dash point is on reference line. At here A dash B dash point is on reference line. Okay. So here I complete this problem. Thank you.